We all need it. I can show you how to get up to 528 platinum per hour. That's enough to buy anything you want really from this trade chat. You want your Wukong Prime, your Baza Prime, you want Ash Prime, all this stuff you can easily attain if you just follow this guide and do this simple farm. Now when I say it only takes 5 minutes, I'm not lying. This farm takes me 4 minutes and 3 seconds, which gives me plenty of time to go back to my orbiter and load it up again. So that's really less than 5 minutes. So you're going to be doing this farm 12 times an hour. And really, if 12 times an hour is plenty. You'll get plenty of plat from this. You'll never really need to worry about plat again if you just like spend a day on grinding this farm. You'll get so much from it. Before we begin, you, we need a speed frame. Any frame will work. Volt is probably not the best choice. Titania is second best choice, and my pick for sure would be Nova. Nova has the best abilities when it comes to movement for this mission, because you need this teleport. When it comes to the farm, which I'm, I will show you in a minute, teleporting is extremely helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our star chart real quick. Going to go into Lua, the Lua Spy. Now, no one wants to do Lua Spy. I can't find a single person that wants to do the Lua Spy. Everyone hates spy missions, and Lua is the hardest by far. Now, but well, Lua offers a lot of unique mods, which means the plat prices has been driven up, up, and up. And so if you see here, you have to just make the build for efficiency. Make sure you can make as many portals as you can. See, even this, it gives you rare mods, giving them out so easily. Like, look at this. Bam, not even like 20 seconds into the mission, I'm already getting a rare mod. There we go, stealth drift. Super easy. This stuff is super easy. Rook, right here. Now, this spy can be a little bit tricky at first, but if you use this guide, you should be able to do it extremely fast. Now that we're here at A, what you're going to want to do first is just slap this button, just like you're going to slap the like button. Go through this portal. Click on start training, and you don't need to go into this area at all. You just want that door open. Then you're going to open that portal again and go through. And this part, it's a little bit tricky because, um, well, just the parkour, it's a little bit annoying, really. That's it. This part, especially. Just have to carefully dodge it around there. And then you're through. Alright, and then I'll just take this conveniently placed portal to be. Alright, now we're at B. So first thing you're going to want to do is just hack open this door. Simply go into this room. Through this portal. Alarms, what a joke. Then if you can, if you're using Titania or Nova or any frame that's easy to get up here, you want to get up here because then you're just right by this uh, pressure plate that you need to hit. And with Nova, this is super easy because there is um, ice that will slow you down there and it's quite annoying. Alright, then there's B. And now for the trickiest one, C. Now that we're at C... What you're going to want to do here is, this one's tricky, you want to go to the right when you enter the room and shoot that button and then go through this void rift. And then it's pretty straightforward from here. You're going to hack this console, and go over here and once you approach the console should appear, you just hack through there, walk in through here. Now if you have any other frame, you're going to have to... Um, 
you're going to have to open that and then hit the button and then uh, try and get through there as fast as possible. But with Nova, you can just put a portal and go right through. It's relatively simple. Alright, so this part, most people step on the pressure plate and do all that business, which I absolutely hate. There's a void rift up here, you just have to shoot it and then jump through. Then all you have to do is just follow uh, down here. Ooh, look, it's over court time. <laughs> Go through here. Slice this uh, volatile container and you'll sh you should see the rocks falling down a little bit. And then you go back through the rift, and they'll be all crumbled down. Now, if you're somehow super good at memorization, you can go and do this whole bit. Um, go through the void rift and do it. But I am terrible and brain dead, so... <clears throat> and the fastest and most consistent way to do it is to just go through here, ignore that void rift, right? And go through this void rift instead. Step on this pressure plate, then hit that button. Nova, it's super easy. And Titania as well. You're gonna want to hack that and then shoot that button. And it should send the um, explosive container through. Or it could act up a little bit and send me back. Okay. And then once you shoot that, it should open up this wall, and you'll go through this void rift right here. And then you're right at sea. So let's see what loot we get. So that run... We got Blood Rush, which Blood Rush is worth a solid 10 plat. And it's super easy to get. It's not one of the extremely rare mods. It's just as rare as the rest of the mods in the loot pool. If you don't believe me, look it up on the wiki. It's super easy to get a plat doing this mission. So I'm going to do this mission again to just prove how fast we can do it. Alright, I did it again. And that mission time was 4 minutes and 3 seconds. So this is easily doable within 5 minutes for really anyone. We got Hell's Chamber and Scattering Inferno, two very, very good shotgun mods. Those are going to net you in some plat. Thank you all for watching, and please help a fellow gamer out by liking and subscribing. Have a nice day.